What's up YouTube? In this video, we will see how you can create great audios for your video using Audacity. So let's get started. Audio. Alongside videos, great audio is also a must have if you're trying to engage your audience. So when you're getting started with your video, all the focus goes on lights, the different angles, the key lights, the rim lights, the practicals and all of that. But we often miss that a great audio is also required to engage your audience for your videos. Now we will learn in this video how you can master some simple steps using Audacity. These can be very prominently visible if not edited out of your audios. Now think of an environmental sound which causes interference in your videos. It can be your air conditioner, you, it can be your fans, it can be your clocks, it can be your breathing. So these kind of noises or unwanted sounds in your audio many times takes off the attention span of your audience. Now it can be a very trivial thing but it's also important to include this or factor these in while you're doing your editings. Now we will learn how you can do all of this and learn very easily and create crystal crisp audios for your video using audacity so let's get started so once you open audacity this is kind of the ui that you get to look at the version which i'm using is 3.2.1 um, maybe there's an upgraded version available to download so don't worry about the version much because the ui would be more or less same so the first thing that you would notice here is you can directly start a recording by clicking on this button and the inputs are defined right over here the volume or the recording level as you would say is somewhat appearing on the top bar here and if you want to set the threshold of the recording level that is something that you can do manually as well and this is the kind of audio level which is set at over here so if you are trying to record something from using the background music or even for the mic for that matter you can do it right over here so the things to notice here is what are the project rate in terms of Hertz. So I will keep it to the default settings, which is like 44, 100K. And uh, you can change it even to 4,800 Hertz if you want, but I will leave it to 4,400 for now. And now the other thing to notice is here you have the audio host selected as MME. You can also change it to other input parameters but i will leave it at here the microphone that i'm using is one uh, which i use to record my videos usually the link you would find in the description uh, and it's also having kind of a masking device which is like a noise cancellation and it comes as a part of my graphics card and the recording channel is set to mono you can even change it to stereo if you want so this is kind of the settings that you would want to visit and do remember to set your mic settings from your taskbar once you try to access your mic so i'm not going to go into those details in this video so let's get started with the first recording as i hit on the recording you would see the recording starts and it's also recording my voice so once you stop it here and i'm going to play it from here so the point is wherever you place your cursor on audio canvas, as you would say, it uh, it starts playing from that level. So we're going to play it from here. The recording starts and it's also recording my voice. So as you can see, it's kind of recording my voice. And for now, even if I want to add the background music onto this, I need to change it to Windows Wasapi settings. So now we will see what you can do to record a basic audio and make certain changes. So I'm going to record a track now and show you how you can change this track. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to our channel Focus Dive and we will see some great features today. So this is kind of the track we have and now we will see what we can do. So the first thing here is if you want to trim this track a bit, just select the part that you want to trim and then click Control X to trim it. So you can just cut it like this and that goes off. So we will press Control Z to bring this back. And if you want to take a piece of this audio and put it in a different section of this audio, so 
I'm just going to select this, cut it from here and paste it towards the end. So I just want to amplify this part a bit. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this track and go to effect under volume and compression. Select the first option which says amplify. Once I'm in amplify, I'm going to change the decibel level to my required levels. I do remember the fact that any of your vocals should not exceed or ideally should not exceed any point beyond uh, 0.5 on the either side. So I'm just going to set it at 7. That is an acceptable level and I'm going to hit apply. As you can see that the amplification has worked, but also there is a clock ticking at the back end of this audio, which is like the clock in my room. So in order to remove any of such background noise, what I'm going to do is zoom into my track and play it right about from Just here and we will see some great feet. And I think the noise is somewhere over here. So I'm going to select this part and mark it as noise for my video and I'm going to zoom out of my track, go on to the effect section under noise removal and repair, I'm going to select noise reduction. Now here, as you see, it is asking for an option which says get noise profile. So I'm going to identify that as the noise profile and that's about it. So now you have identified the noise in your audio track. So I'm just going to select the section from here or maybe clicking on the top. And what I'm going to do is go to effects, back to noise removal and repair and again to noise reduction. So now I already have the noise profile. What I'm going to do is directly reduce the noise. Now there are two options. One, you can leave the residue, which is like the noise profile which you identified, or you can also reduce the noise. So if you want to increase the depth of your vocals or lower the pitch of your voice, you need to select that part where you want to alter it, go back to effects and go all the way to EQ and filters and on to bass and treble. Now once you're in bass and treble, you see the bass is set to 12 decibels and the treble is 7. You can set a preview for this and if you like it, you can just save it. I'm going to increase this a bit. Hey, what's up YouTube? And of course you can understand that the bass levels or the depth of the voice has changed. I'm going to hit on apply and you can see the change appearing on your tracks. So these are few of the key things that you might consider for a quick and easy editing of your audios. The other thing that you can consider is also editing a pre-recorded audio. For example, if I go to any of these audios and I have a pre-recorded session, but I want to tweak and change a bit of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a video directly, go all the way to Audacity and drop it right on to the top of my screen. Well, this works with a codec and that is a step that you might need to configure if it is not already a part of the version that you're using. And the steps are pretty easy and I'm going to mention that as a part of the description in this video for you to have it easier. And this is about how you can see it appear in my screen. You can drag and drop any of your videos and the audio is going to come right about on your screen. So you can either edit it the way it is, like keeping a stereo track or you can also go on to the section over here which is to the extreme left right click on any of these blank spaces and change it to split to mono track and now you have two separate tracks so i'm going to delete one of these and i can continue my editing on to the one which i already have so if you want to add multiple such tracks like if you're doing a recording session after session you can have multiple such tracks instead of adding one on the other on the same track for that you need to go on to the tracks and go on to add new and you can add a mono track or a stereo track and so on. So if I'm going to add a mono track, you can see one appearing right about here. I can select any of the sections from the previous tracks, copy it and paste it onto the new track that I just added. So if I want to save a track, I'm going to go over here and save a project. So there are two things to save and export your audios. First is save a project and the second is export the audio that you want. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how to save your project so that you can use it for further editing purposes. You have an option called save project. And as you click on save project or save project as, you will see I have these extensions as AUP3 and similarly you can just save it for your future editing purposes. I'm just going to keep it as test and I'm going to hit on save. So if I want to open a pre-existing project which I've been working on 
what I need to do is go to file, go all the way to open, select any of these projects that I've been working on and there we have it. So this is kind of the work that I've been doing previously and I want to continue over this. I can do it right about from here. Now, what if I want to export this project as a audio file? Now, what I want to do is I go back to file, go on to export and here are different formats in which you can export. For the best quality for your videos, the recommended option is always export as a wave format and it saves any lag or any loss during conversion. So I'm going to export it as a wave format, click on wave and here I can save it with the name that I want to. Now once you hit on save, you get options to add multiple metadata labels like the artist name, the track title, album name and so on. So these are some of the useful steps that you can do in order to edit your audios. As a channel, we need your support to grow. So please, if you enjoyed this video, do smash the like and subscribe button. Stay tuned and follow for more. And until then, bye for now.